channel. In today's episode, I will be making a Cinnabon. We know that Cinnabon is something special and it's quite pricey outside, so why not making at home, right? I have here the ingredients and the utensils that I need. So first, the yeast proofing. I have here the milk. It should be warm, not too hot. Sugar. And instant yeast i'm using this one and for the dough i have flour melted butter sugar and baking powder for the filling i have a brown sugar this should be a softened butter not melted Softened butter and melted butter are two different things. And I have cinnamon. And for the frosting, I have um, powdered sugar and softened uh, cream cheese and also a butter. I have a spatula. I have a dough cutter. I have the rolling pin, bowl and sifter. I'm going to use this kind of baking pan. I'm going to use also the measuring cups and the measuring spoons to measure the ingredients. Here's the warm milk and the instant yeast, dried yeast. And then the sugar. I'm going to cover it and leave it for 15 minutes until the yeast is proof. I'm having here the bowl with the sifter. I need four cups of flour. One cup. Two cups. Three cups. going to add the sugar, salt, baking powder. So look at that, the yeast is already proofed. I will just add it here and the melted butter then mix it with a wooden spoon Now it's time to knead it. this clean bowl, I'm going to add a little oil. This dough, I'll place it here and I'm going to add oil also so it will not get dry. 
Now I'm going to cover it with cling wrap. Cover with this, cover with that. And leave it in the room temperature for one and a half hour. Let it rise by itself. Now I'm going to make the filling. Here's a brown sugar. I need butter. And cinnamon. Now let's check the dough. Ta da! Look at that. I have more flour to dust. The dough is ready when uh, be patient when uh, doing it and I'm going to spread the filling Now the dough and the filling is ready. Some people they roll it right away and then they slice it. But for me, I will slice it first. Now let's roll it. Look at that, it's either that way or this way, it's pretty right? I will leave it for another 15 to 30 minutes until it rises again. Of course, while doing the rest, I'm going to cover this one with a cloth. I'm going to make the frosting 
I have here the softened butter. I will add the softened cream cheese. I'm going to add the powdered sugar. Cream cheese is ready! Now the cinnamon is ready, look at that. I'm going to move this one. Now I'm going to add the cream cheese frosting. The cinnamon is ready, and of course, it's time for tasting! Mmm, that's really soft. I hope you guys enjoy this video as much as I do and you've learned something new. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye!